Assalamu alaikum. Fellow Pakistanis, Happy Independence Day. Today, we are celebrating the 75th Independence Day of Pakistan. Let's pay tribute to the founding fathers of Pakistan and to the generation that contributed to the independence movement. Sacrifices of millions of Muslims who migrated to Pakistan and those Muslims who stayed behind and are being treated as second-class citizens cannot be forgotten. Today, we must reaffirm our commitment to the ideals of Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah and the dream of Ilama Iqbal of a democratic, tolerant and a progressive Pakistan. I am proud of Pakistanis who have contributed to nation building and I am equally proud of those over 9 million Pakistanis living overseas who have made a mark for themselves in the societies and the countries that they are residing currently. One has hope in the dynamic youth of Pakistan that comprises over 60% of our population. In the developing world, Pakistan has led from the front in the fight against climate change. We have done better than many developed countries in handling the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, Pakistan is the voice of the Muslim world against the rising trend of Islamophobia in the West. We have taken a principled position on Palestine. We have highlighted the atrocities and the human rights violations against innocent Kashmiris in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. And we are part of an international coalition for peace and reconciliation in Afghanistan. Let us reflect on our future and our present government, your government, has shifted the focus of its foreign policy from geopolitics to geoeconomics for uplifting people from abject poverty and for the well-being of common Pakistanis. Let us join hands and face the challenges confronting Pakistan with unity, faith and discipline.